Hi guys and welcome to another video for JC Inventory. My name's Jack and today we're going to be looking at how to implement a custom pawn into JC Inventory for version 4.9. So let's begin. Um, so the pawn we're going to be using is the top-down pawn because I actually haven't implemented JC Inventory into this kind of game mode yet so I thought maybe we could kill two birds with one stone. Um, so, JC Inventory has changed to make it a lot easier in version 4.9, um, and we're going to go through the steps. So, one thing to note is we've got rid of the HUD, and if we have a look at our game mode here, um, this can all stay the same. The only thing you need to change now with JC Inventory is your character. So, we're going to find our character, the top-down character, and we're going to open it up. Once we're in our top-down character, we're going to need to do a few things. We're going to add an interface called the JC Pawn Interface. So to do that, once you open it, you go to Class Settings, over to Interfaces, Add JC Pawn Interface, then Compile. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a component up here in the top left, and we're going to scroll down to Custom. Or, and we're going to select JCRPC component. Then we're going to select the JCRPC component and move over to the right and we're going to look under the variables. We're going to find component replicates and we're going to make sure that is ticked. Now it's very, very important that that is ticked. Okay. And we're going to save and compile. Then we're going to come over to the interfaces bar and this has been generated as since we've added that interface, the pawn interface. And that was the JC pawn interface. And we're going to get, it's called get interact component. The interact component is going to be our JC RPC component. After that, we're good. That's all there is to it. However, we have no keys binded to use JC inventory. So. The next thing we're going to do once we have our component in uh, is we're going to want to be able to show the user interface. So to get that going we need to be able to set up the user interface. I'm going to do this on possessed. Um, no, not on possessed, it's just possessed. Event possessed, there we go. Uh, as this is probably the easiest way to do it in this circumstance. Um, if you were unpossessing and repossessing the pawn, you would have problems here. But now we're just going to go set up JC Inventory HUD. And what we're also going to do is locally controlled. Um, that's probably not needed because this gets fired on the owning client, but I like to keep kind of a lot of gates on my multiplayer function so whenever I'm looking at the function in isolation I know where it's getting fired. Okay so that should be it uh, and of course we need a key to show that inventory so this um, the component actually holds the HUD so to get it you pull from the component and say get user interface widget and then from there, show hide inventory. Now all these kind of examples can be found in inside the provided two pawns now, the third person and first person pawns that come with JC inventory. Okay. And we're just gonna And I'm just going to record this part again as uh, my mic uh, got a little bit damaged and I wanted to make sure the audio was clear for you guys. So because we set our event on possessed, uh, we want to get rid of our pawn in the level and we're just going to grab a player start and pop it in. Another change I made, because we made this change, was in our top down controller. Um, we're just going to put begin play show mouse cursor and set it to positive. So we're going to show our mouse cursor 
that should be it. So when we click play, we can move around still. And there we go. We've got our player inventory window. So I hope that tutorial was clear. Um, and I hope you like the changes with 4.9. Uh, I really wanted to make this process a lot more streamlined. Um, but if you have any questions, please add, uh, ask on the forum. And I will be continuing this video um, to show how you can get sort of Diablo-esque uh, interaction from the top down. Um, perspective. Okay. Thank you very much for watching.